Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. So today we're doing a TikTok video. You guys know the drill. If you're new here, we usually go through my likes on TikTok and you can kind of get an idea of what my sense of humor is like. So yeah, let's go, let's go uh, into my noggin real quick, okay? Listen, Mull and I may or may not have started a little bit of a prank war and I am genuinely worried about where it's gonna end up because this is only the beginning and I'm worried. I'm not gonna lie. I, in my head, I'm like, how far is he gonna take this? How far is this gonna go? <laughs> I love it so much. Honestly, when you look at his face, it kind of looks staged, but it wasn't. I just walked up, grabbed his sandwich, bam, chucked it on the ground. But hey, in my defense, that was in retaliation of what he did to me, okay? I was only fighting back. I didn't start this. Sh he started it. You like your cheese? <laughs> I actually read some of the comments on this one and everyone was like, she's only flinching because you've probably hit her before. I was like, or I was flinching because he walked in with a slice of cheese in his hand and looked like he was going to throw it at me. I saw him walking towards me with his phone and I was like, oh no, what's going to happen? What's about to go down? And uh, yeah, he uh, threw a piece of cheese at me. I only ruined his sandwich because he threw some cheese at me. What will happen next? You'll have to follow us on TikTok to find out. Wow, that sounded like such an ad. Hey guys, follow me on TikTok, please. Before we get into it, today's video is sponsored by AFK Arena, a mobile game available on both iOS and Android. Now let me tell you, AFK is a light RPG where you fight up against badass demons and collect heroes. Sounds good, right? So basically in the game, they've got these cute pets as well. You can see little Tazzy on the screen right now. How cute is he? Unlike traditional RPGs, AFK Arena is a reward rewarding non-grindy RPG that doesn't require a lot of time, which I don't have. I don't, I don't have time. So let's just say it's the perfect game for me. This means that you can have AFK time between all the other things you need to do in the day. Come and join me and let's take on these demons together and maybe even collect some of those heroes. It's super easy to get stuck into. You can play it casually or you can really get into it because there's a lot of strategic depth. Any spare time I have whenever I'm not streaming or making content for you guys, I'm probably playing AFK. So although I'm super busy throughout the day, I still enjoy my AFK on my off time. So guys, make sure you download the game. There will be a link in the description and even a little gift voucher for you guys. So good luck, get your AFK fighting face on and I'll see you there. Another massive shout out to AFK Arena for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back into it. Now that I've given myself enough clout, it's time to look at other people's TikToks. This dog's like, you want some? You want some? I don't know what that was. Oh my god, I don't Dude, that dog is full arcing up at this guy. Look at it. He is not putting up with any sh He's like, you want some? I don't know why I have a British accent when I say that. You want some? This dog ain't putting up with sh though. He's like, oh, you wanna you wanna come at me? Well wait. Well, wait. 2020 vibes, am I right? <laughs> Why did he smile at the end there? 2020 vibe. You think, oh, sh he's just dropped the wine bottle. Ah, uh, but no, no, that wine bottle has knocked over the wine glass. Welcome to 2020, where things literally couldn't get any worse. He grabbed the wine glass. He almost had it. Next f***ing minute, see you later. Smash glass everywhere. You hate to see it. I just want to apologize in advance. I can't help that a lot of these TikToks have dogs in them. They're just too funny. They're just adorable. Like, look at this sh Aw. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. This dog is way more elegant than any of us. I, I'm just gonna say it. None of us are that elegant. I don't even think my hand can move like that. Oh my god. That is the greatest thing I've ever seen. Absolutely incredible. I think I found the TikTok version of me six months ago, just literally reacting to things on TikTok. My aunt gave birth this morning and my grandpa is obviously very excited. So here's the picture of the baby. There's clearly a family group chat going on. And the grandpa's like, okay, surely there's more to the story. Surely your grandpa's gonna be a little bit more excited than that. Come on, come on, man. Why every homeowner should own a security camera. Bloop. Sorry, I find this so funny and I don't know why. Imagine looking at your security cameras thinking, I'm just gonna see if the dogs are okay. And you see your dog literally walk over and just sit on the other dog's head. If this was William Biscuit, oh my God. Actually, they probably do stuff like this at home. I'm probably just not paying enough attention. What is that? Broccoli? This TikTok is the literal representation of me attempting to eat healthy. So good, dude. It's so good. I am way too easily entertained, though. Our dog jumps in the pool when he knows he's in trouble because he knows we won't go in to follow him. Why didn't I know this as a kid? Mom and dad are like, I'm too afraid to go in the pool. And I'm like, haha, come and get me. Oh, wait, you won't. 
I love it. I love it. Look. This dog knows exactly what he's doing. Holy shit. I told you it was going to be dog videos. You all knew what you were walking into, okay? You have to stop wondering what it would be like to be best friends with David Dobrik. You're a 31-year-old Jewish Orthodox mother of three. You do not belong in his squad. You have no place there. You must stop. Wait, 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 wait. Isn't that what Jason is? A father of two? 40-something? Maybe you do have a place in there. Don't doubt yourself, all right? David seems to hang out with everyone. He clearly doesn't care. Babe, do you ever get jealous that I work with models all day? Financial models. Oh my god. I thought this was going in a completely different direction. She's like, excuse me, what did you just say? I don't want to call somebody a nerd, but he kind of looks like a nerd. Listen, if your boyfriend's gonna hang out with some models, I'd rather him hang out with some financial models than the real ones. You have to stop reposting every single birthday shout out you get on Instagram. These people, they're posting it for you. For you. We don't need to see all of them. They're for you. Couldn't help but laugh at this one. And don't get me wrong, I'm guilty of it. When I hit a million subs, I was reposting everyone's stories. I just think it's like a, a nice way to thank the people who appreciate you and are showing their appreciation. But seriously, if it's your birthday, you don't need to repost every single person's thing. My God. Unless it's a really ugly photo, then I'll allow it, okay? If you do that, stop it. Stop it right now. Surely that's fake. Me and my brother couldn't stop laughing because my fart started laughing with us. Is that your brother in your bed with you? I'm so confused, dude. I don't know how to say this without sounding disgusting. He dropped a big old fart, okay? I guess because of his body movements and his motions, the fart kind of laughed with him. I don't know, man. I just watched this one. I was like, that's kind of funny. I could add this to the next video. You need to stop fantasizing that you could have been Zac Efron's girlfriend if you were in Byron Bay right now, but because of coronavirus, you're not in Byron Bay and therefore you are not Zac Efron's girlfriend because you were never going to be Zac Efron's girlfriend. Whoa, man, I feel like my heart has just been ripped from my chest. To give a little bit of context, Zac Efron is currently in Byron Bay, which is here in Australia, and uh, apparently he met like a waitress and then now they're dating in Byron Bay. Like the dreams that we all had as kids, like, oh, maybe if I cross paths with Harry Styles, that maybe he would look at me differently, even though he's seen thousands of fans and be like, she's the one. We all hoped that would happen. We all knew it wasn't gonna happen. So every Australian girl's like, listen, maybe if I was in Byron Bay, maybe if I happened to cross paths with him, he would have fallen in love with me. It's like, no, Tedder, it was never gonna happen. Zach Efron doesn't love you. Like, why you gotta do me like that, dude? Well, there you have it. Another episode of going through Tedder's TikTok likes. I, uh, I really gotta stop looking at dog videos, but it's just so funny, okay? It's just so funny.